Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of the Troy Story, episode 4, it's Novelty Headwear episode, oh no bullshit, as if, as if Troy Story would sink to such incredible depths. Uh, but tonight's episode is going to be pretty interesting for all of you all out there, it is episode 4, um, for anyone who thinks, wait a minute Troy, wasn't there already uh, an episode 4, didn't you do the, the, the drunken episode, when you standing outside screaming at traffic whilst obviously drunk, talking about nothing in particular. Particular. Some sort of reference to biting Jesus' beard and the Dalai Lama. Didn't didn't you do that? Wasn't that episode four? No, no, I didn't do that. And and even if I did, I deleted the video. So uh, here we are, episode four. Moving forward is all going to be about sports. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Troy, you're not fooling anyone, mate. You don't play sports. <laughs> and my response to that would be, you don't have to play something in order to ridicule it on the internet for cheap laughs. And that's what I'm going to be doing for about the next two minutes. I'm going to watch up what I did. Forget that. Two minutes, right? Strap yourself in. So we're off to Afghanistan, where the Afghan Vice President General Dostrum believes that the country's national sport, Buzkashi, should be exported to other countries around the world. Uh, now, this sport involves large teams of ex-Mujahideen warriors riding on horseback, wrestling over the carcass of a headless goat. I mean, that is, is hardly the beautiful game, is it? That That is... That sounds like a health and safety conundrum right there. The risk assessment for Buds Cashy would be through the bloody roof. You know, and then for that reason, I think it would be very difficult to orchestrate it on some sort of international level. There'd be all sorts of paperwork and red tape. So, you know, unfortunately over here, we're just too, we're too oppressive, uh, to, we're too close-minded to embrace uh, wrestling uh, for the carcass of a, of a headless goat on horseback. So, I, I don't know, that's, that's my view on it. Personally, I think it would be it would be great for sport, though. Great for British sport. It would make sports day a lot more interesting, wouldn't it? At school, you know, whereas before there was just the slight possibility that your child might cry if they lost a race. Now there's a genuine threat of death. You know, so those those little buggers, they'll work harder, won't they? They will. They will. Um, I think it would make a great PlayStation game as well, wouldn't it? Buzz Cashy Manager. Or, yeah, or you just sort of going around all of these... Uh, illegal stables looking for the best breed of aggressive horse or you know you, you could just have like a, a lot better than FIFA whatever it, whatever it is whatever it is Buzzcashy Live Buzzcashy Light Diet Buzzcashy I don't even know where I'm going with this right so next we're going to bring it back to Great Britain uh, we're going to be going up north uh, and we're going to be learning all about ferret legging now ferret legging uh, it, this is an absolute stonker of a sport. Um, it, it involves taking a live ferret. In this case, I don't know what it'd be worth, live or worse, live or dead, but uh, but live, and shoving it down your trousers without any pants for the longest period of time. I mean, the world record for this: uh, a guy managed to do it, shoving a live ferret down his trousers without any pants for five hours. Five hours. Now, I don't want to make any prejudiced comments, but you have got to question the intentions of a man who shoves a ferret down his trousers without any pants for five hours. I imagine, you know, what would start off as a bit of a, you know, a competitive scenario, you know, it's like it's Lancashire versus Yorkshire, you know, who can shove a ferret down their kegs for the longest period of the time would eventually just transform into an incredibly sickeningly intimate moment shared with a ferret you know this ferret has seen parts of me that i will never see you know it, it would know you better than almost anyone else what's the ferret thinking when it's down there squashed up next to a yorkshireman's scrotum no one knows no one knows what's going on but you know it's doing well. I think it could catch on. I'd like to, to, to practice, you know, probably on something. Ferrets are quite renowned for being a little bit, you know, aggressive, a bit vicious, aren't they? I'd probably try it out on a, on a turtle or, or something a little bit more uh, palatable. Um, if that is the correct term, which it most definitely is not. But that was the Troy Story episode four sports segment. There's going to be three episodes of Troy Story every single week. Remember to like the page if you haven't already. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily three minute news segment at the moment. It's probably more of a 4.44 uh, news segment, but that's hardly as catchy, is it? So we're going to keep to the three minute news segment for now. Thank you very much for watching. Au revoir.